Hello, my name is Pascal, and today I'm going to be talking about an open source wirebonding application that I made. So, the motivations of this project were primarily born of the proprietary nature of chip design, and currently, individual small businesses and institutions have likely been required to draw these diagrams by hand, primarily because the licensing for the relevant software is extremely expensive and currently there is little to none literature or open source tools available for solving this sort of problem. So to start off, the only input required by the program is a left file containing the chip dimensions as well as the, rele the relevant coordinates of the individual pads. And we can include an image of the chip for the user's reference. And what the program does is it goes through every individual pad and finds the closest pin and makes the connection between the two. But once we do that, we arrive at an unacceptable solution. So what the program does after this is unscrambles the wires and we arrive at a more presentable solution. But here, the user would still need to come in and make a few modifications, such as increasing the package size and shifting a few wires in a particular direction. And this is just an example of a relatively larger chip with a larger number of pins for which the application produces a wire bond. So, a few limitations of this application is that the program cannot currently be expected to produce a complete wire bond, prim primarily because during its development we had access to a relatively few number of chips, so it would be difficult to produce a more refined product without more data. So I'm just going to go through a few examples of generating diagrams using application. So here we need to resize so it can fit on the display of the canvas. And move a few wires so that we can later shift them into position. And for these examples, we're only going to consider the, the angle requirements because depending on what kind of wire is used by the wire binder, the, the length requirements will change. So let's look at another chip. And move the wires into place just like in the last example. And there we go. The user can also make ground bonds and double bonds as necessary. And once we produce a final image, we can save it as a PNG or a PDF or any other common file type. And there we go. 